So next, we got a video by Culture Covered. Cat Williams and Jaguar, right, sit down on Diddy's arrest. Interview goes viral. Okay, so let's check that out. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to comment, scrap thumbs up. <laughs> Slap that red button. I want the twisty ties. I want him on the ground. I want people putting his head into the car. I want that. That's what they did to the kids. What's happening, Puff? Yo, I was, I, I, I didn't even, I, I, I didn't know where she was going with that at first. I'm like, what? What is she talking about? That She wants that for herself? No, she wants that done to him, right? Mm -hmm. All right. I'll be back to you if JD ain't had enough. Dupree, king of the pedophiles, if you ask me, baby. So if you've been following all the drama surrounding Diddy, then you know Cat Williams and Jaguar Wright have been warning us for years about Diddy's shady dealings. And now that his recent arrest has gone down, they're sitting down to give us even more insider info. So word on the street is that Cat and Jaguar will soon sit down for a joint interview and reveal even more dark stories about Wow, that's, that interview is going to be crazy. There's going to be a lot set on that interview. Yeah, it is. I, I think they even might go back and forth. Could. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? <laughs> about the entertainment industry. Now, Diddy's arrest has people talking, but according to Jaguar and Cat, this is just the beginning. Word is, they've got even more tea to spill, not only about Diddy, but about his industry friends. And y'all know that Cat and Jaguar don't hold back, and Jaguar in particular has never shied away from naming names. She's been making waves for the past few years, calling out not only Diddy, but also people like Jay-Z, Will and Jada Smith, and a whole list of other a list why was that blanked out? Why couldn't she say that name? Top of the food chain. Top Did you of the notice food that chain. though? It was it was blurred out like if it was like a swear, like she was saying something that goes. Why was that blurred out? Hey, let us know. Why was that blurred out? That was weird. That was that that was awkward. Did any of you guys notice that? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. She's been saying for years that these industry elites have been getting away with sketchy things. And now that Diddy's facing serious legal trouble, it looks like she may have been right all along. And more scandal. Like who's next? Jay-Z? Cat and Jag. And she would, again, they won't say it. That, that's, that is so awkward, bro. It that is crazy. Where am I tripping? I think it's for protection. Because that is a big thing. Like yeah, way yeah. bigger than... Clyde Davis, the name is really big, though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. That, it, wow, that's a big name. It's a big name. Guar seem to know way more than they've spilled so far. And it sounds like more names might be going down with Diddy. He's the wild. <laughs> they procured me to do <laughs> damage and wild shit. Like, I, it was something like that I said. I don't nobody ever want to believe me. All right, let's talk first about Cat Williams because this man has been warning us for years about those alleged Hollywood rituals involving young victims and some high profile monsters in the entertainment industry. Now, we all remember when Cat caused a whole storm on Shannon Sharp's club Shay Shay back in January, right? He spilled about how Diddy tried to take him shopping, which is basically Hollywood code for some shady offers. And Cat made it clear he had to turn down multiple deals because they came with some serious strings attached but trust me it gets even darker than that offering grown folks some sketchy deals is one thing and sure people turn diddy's little shopping trip story into a running joke about certain industry men allegedly doing what they needed to do to achieve some success but let's be real when these offers start targeting the young and vulnerable it's no longer a laughing matter and that's exactly where cat drew the line he talked all about it during his interview with joe rogan but for whatever reason that interview didn't blow up the same way his club Shay Shay one did. In his chat with Rogan, Cat touched on a lot of things, but one part that had fans really backing him up was when he started talking about those rumored demon worshiping rituals. Hey, when you think about these rituals, right? Do you really like, in your head, is this the way that you picture it? Like there's these people in masks and long black capes with hoods on. Do you think that's how it goes down? Or do you think they're just talking about just crazy sexual rituals that they had? Um, I don't think in all senses that they dress like that. But I think in some. So you don't might, think there's mass? 
Yeah, I think that there is in some. I think it depends on what the ritual's about and stuff. What do you guys think? Put it in the comments. Do you guys think that this is the way it actually goes down? Rituals in Hollywood. Yep, Cat went there, y'all. And he wasn't just throwing out wild accusations. He was connecting the dots between some very shady behavior in the industry. Whole industries can be built upon your ability to know how certain things are going to hit certain people. And this was before we called things promotion and marketing. Hollywood is not really there to entertain you. Like, that's great that that happens. But um, propaganda is something that is important to all civilization. Now, everybody's like, oh, he keeps talking about people wearing dresses. No, it's that not. It's, a weird thing. it's not like that. Look at it from a different way. Look at it. Show me one person that ever wore a dress in Hollywood unsuccessfully. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you understand what a ritual is. Mm. So 20 years ago, I knew that transgenders was going to be a thing. It wasn't because I was a prophet. It's just I had gotten so much information that I understood the that pattern. things are secular. So I understood that the earliest I had seen that word transgender was um, Baphomet, the transgender. Um, and so I knew that the, in the ritual of Baphomet, the transgender, to show allegiance to him, you had to kiss his ass ring. Really? And it said oh, both of those things. So I knew that both of those things would become popular in the future. So while a lot of folks laughed off Kat's claims, there are plenty of people out here who believe he's actually onto something when it comes to those Hollywood rituals. Things get even darker when you consider that months before Cassie's lawsuit even dropped, celebrity medium Sloan Bella went viral on YouTube with a video where she claimed that some of these powerful industry men were allegedly harvesting energy through dark rituals involving young people. Sloan even said that Diddy's ex Kim Porter had supposedly seen some of these disturbing disturbing rituals firsthand at his infamous parties. And Kim was reportedly about to put it all out there in a tell-all book before, well, we know what happened. About what she witnessed, and they are dumbing it down to the fact that they think that P. Diddy is on some kind of spree for removing people who speak about this because he's gay? That is not the issue. That's not what we're talking about. There are gay people, but what we're talking about here is ritualistic sexual deviancy used to harness energy of a human being. Ritualized, thought out, planned specifically to rip the person down and hide behind their energy. But what if we're talking about a religion that hides behind the energy of the most innocent on this planet who are lit up energetically because it hasn't been broken? Sloan Bella even Wow, yo, this is yo, this is getting way too weird for me, man. Y'all is weird. Like, if if you really could sit there and practice this thing and call it a religion, that is just that. I just feel like the person's got to be out of their mind. Like, how do you get a bunch of like-minded people to do this? Like, there's really the, the, the many sexual deviants out there that they literally have to round up people. I, I, it just, it just. It, it to me it just makes no sense it's something out of like a hollywood movie mm -hmm. something like you would see in theater or something like that I, it to me it just it baffles me to even think that something like that could even exist and how do you get like-minded people to do it well it's all people that's already been in the industry for a long time and that's how they have been so rich and powerful and then they get somebody like you know they find a another person that's younger and willing to do so you're saying that they're broken into and, this behavior so the people that they're harnessing their energy that they're saying that are young they're yes. breaking them in and they're going to be the next ones taking over these rituals or mm, participating in just these rituals participate for their energy for their it's like it's like taking their face off and wearing a mask you know like just wow it's 
crazy. That's just crazy. <laughs> that's just I, that's what I'm saying. Just the thought of it, wild. like just look how deep it goes. Like it, it just goes into like a crazy part of the brain. That's why, like a lot of these child stars, look at how a lot of them become. Oh, I know. It's because they've seen a lot, and a lot has happened to them. And yeah, I know that. A lot of it's coming to light. I mean, yeah. even Nickelodeon was just recently. I think a lot of the child star thing too has to do with the parenting. I think, I mean, the, the kids go through a lot with the parent damn self. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Because I mean, for you to be a parent just to drop off your kid on set and leave, and not mm -hmm. be there with your kid, I, to me, I just think that. Yeah, you find the most vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah. Even brought Justin Bieber into the mix, hinting that he might have been a victim of these alleged Hollywood rituals too. According to Sloan, this could be why Justin's been looking so broken lately and that he's seemingly lost interest in making music. Over here, we know Bieber was famous as a teenager and all of that. How do you think he got that way? Because they harnessed his energy and presented him while him the self is broken. He is broken and a shell of himself because he has lost his sense of self. They stole that. That is what they wear. But just when we... Okay, so, but see, that's what I'm trying to say is, so if he was, if they harnessed his energy, how would he have the energy to receive that positive energy and the positive feedback for his music? You get what I'm saying? If you're a shell of yourself, you are just walking, you're like a walking zombie thought things couldn't get any wilder an old clip of diddy's guest appearance on nickelodeon's all that has resurfaced on social media and let me tell you it's seriously bizarre the scene has diddy with some young stars and it's raising more than a few eyebrows and get this dan schneider who already has a very shady reputation allegedly personally invited diddy to be on that episode it's like all the puzzle pieces are finally coming together and 2024 is shaping up to be the year of May major exposure just like cat williams said it would now that episode of all that with diddy originally aired in 2002 and features young actors jack desena and brian hearn trying to wake up their friend played by shane lyon so first they try dumping sour milk on him and when that doesn't work they turn to diddy for advice and let me just say diddy's suggestion for what to do next you're gonna want to see this one You know, in situations like this, yeah. I always ask myself, what would P. Diddy do? Oh, oh what would P. Diddy God. do? No, I don't know. Hey, let's ask him. Oh, okay. <laughs> P. Diddy? What's up? We can't wake up Shane. You try symbols? Yep. <laughs> what about sour milk? <laughs> Didn't work. Tell you what. Take this toy helicopter. Put it down his pants. All right, we'll do it. We'll do. Yo. Nothing. Didn't work. He's still asleep. Try this. <laughs> Shall I? By uh, all means. That's pretty twisted. So when this clip started blowing up online, Cat Williams wasted no time and reposted it to his Instagram stories with a caption that said, they're all in it. In other words, Cat Williams is out here giving a big I told y'all because he's been sounding the alarm about the dark side of the industry for years. And it looks like everything he's been warning us about is finally coming to light. Now let's talk about another person who's been trying to warn us about Diddy and other industry deviants, Miss Jaguar Wright. For those of you who've been keeping up with Jaguar's many explosive claims you already know she's been coming for diddy for years and now that he's been arrested it looks like she's finally getting the vindication she deserves so if you've been watching jaguar over the past few years you know she has never shied away from spilling tea on some of the biggest names in the music industry she's been telling us forever that diddy's no angel in fact jaguar publicly accused diddy and his mentor of ex trafficking three whole years before cassie filed her lawsuit right now is sean combs Okay, tell us why, tell us why. 
because he's a sex trap okay. and he's using music and entertainment to say it. Now, is this is this just boys, girls, adults, kids? Like, it I mean, from what I've heard from sources that I would consider reliable, it really doesn't matter. Wow. Um, I don't think sexuality is something that has anything to do with gender at this point for Sean. I, I, I honestly think he's just an extreme narcissist who loves power. He loves the ability to manipulate and control people. Why? Most likely because he was victimized by his mentor who loved to control people. And his mentor was Andre Lavelle. Tell, tell us how was he was mentored by what I do know is that Andre got passed over. Like, wow. how do you go from being the president of Uptown and losing your entire company to your intern? Like, Puff started out as an intern. Jaguar has consistently claimed that Diddy's been involved in some seriously shady things. But she didn't just come for Diddy. In fact, one of her main targets has always been Jay-Z. And Jaguar has repeatedly claimed that Jay might even be worse than Diddy. Sean Carter is worse. Uh-oh. Oh, man. He's smarter. He's patient. Oh, wow. So I got to get rid of this Rockaway hat then, I guess, huh? I know. What a great time to be wearing <laughs> yeah. that, right? <laughs> um, you know what I'm wondering, though? And my question is, put it in the comments. Because uh, I feel like Jaguar just, you know, a little loopty. And I, I just, I, I feel like it are these situations that she has personally seen? Because... If you're just hearing it from somebody, that's considered a rumor. And I get it. Yeah, that's the rumor that's going around. I want to know, does anybody know, it was Jet did Jaguar right attend to any of these or personally witness this? I witnessed this herself. Or are these just things that she's just it's, saying it's that she's a she little heard? of both. It's a little of both. Cause I do know that she was in the industry for a little while. So she did witness a lot herself mm -hmm. of what goes on behind closed doors. Yeah. I even, I'm not too sure. So if anybody can answer, but I want to say she was at one point a victim. I want to say. He's not sloppy. Mm -hmm. This been lining up people. He calls friends and step into the side while they get hit by the guillotine for 30 years. He pushed somebody I love too far. And you know who I'm talking about, bitch. We were kids. We were in our 20s. How long do you expect her to have to suffer for a bad choice of you? Yes, she's in the industry. Yes, she was put in exile. No, she wasn't perfect, but she was everything still is. So given that Jaguar has already been proven right about Diddy, we can't really dismiss her claims about Jay-Z so quickly. Who's to say she won't be proven right about him too? Just because there hasn't been a public scandal yet doesn't mean there won't be. After all, a few years ago, no one would have believed we'd see Diddy behind bars. Jaguar's been painted as this wild conspiracy theorist. But if you look at what's happening right now, she's sitting back with receipts while people are being exposed. It's like we're living in her prophecy and she might just be ahead of the curve on more than we think. As for Jaguar's reaction to Diddy's arrest, she actually got pretty emotional about it in a recent appearance on Real Life Production. And who can blame her? People have tried to paint her as crazy and have accused her of being jealous and bitter for so long. So it must feel good to her to have finally been vindicated. Jaguar sat on the couch and said he put the boots to that girl and y'all said she was a liar and then we seen it and then y'all just said, I want my perp walk. That's all I want. The only thing that's going to make any of this hoopla worth it is if he does a perp walk, if he gets put into a car, if he is treated like the criminal that he is on camera. See, they got all of these images leading up to the secret arrest of him having a good time and doing all of that. But when is he going to start having a bad time? So for the victims. I've never had a good time when I go to lock up. It's always annoying. You know, every time I've been arrested for something that I didn't do, and yet nobody said, oh, 
But did he get arrested finally and, and, and get the book ready to be thrown at his very, very, very dancing feet? They're going to be his feet with that law book. That's how many crimes he's done. And everyone's so surprised. You know how weird that is to me? That is. That is. Y'all watch me get arrested there just for Gene, bringing Gene Deal to Dallas. I think they wanted to really silence some things that you had to say. And I know what they're afraid to tell the truth about. And they know I'm not afraid to tell it. That's the problem. They're never going to admit that the reason why Sean Carter has been able to do all that he's done is because they gave him permission to do it. And everybody knew it. Cat and Jaguar's claims may have sounded outlandish at first, but the truth is starting to peek through. Diddy's arrest could just be the beginning of a much bigger unraveling in the music industry. If more of Cat and Jag's warnings turn out to be legit, who knows how many powerful figures could fall next. So y'all, keep your eyes peeled for this upcoming Jaguar and Cat interview because this saga is far from over. If Diddy's downfall proves they were right, we might need to brace ourselves for what comes next. And this could be a whole other level of drama that the industry might not be ready for. But I want to hear from y'all. How do you feel about Cat and Jaguar having warned us about these shady industry folks for years? Who do you think will be exposed next? And how excited are you to see Cat and Jaguar spilling all their tea together? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And for it, I just find something interesting how when she gets arrested, it's something she never did. She's, she's saying, oh, every time I get arrested, for something I didn't do. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it seems like she has a, a way of deflecting. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. she, she deflects a lot. Um, obviously, she's troubled. Because if, I mean, so if Diddy gets arrested, that means he did it, right? Kind of like if you get arrested, that means you did it, right? Or can it be a bigger thing? Can it be what the, you're claiming people are doing to you? getting you arrested for things you don't do mm -hmm. so if it could easily happen to you that means it could easily happen to somebody else right yeah now diddy obviously he has some weird dealings and everybody knows that this is nothing it's not like it's prophecy everybody knew this for decades um so that's nothing new mm -hmm. uh you know I'm not going to lie. The Jay-Z thing, it to me, I never heard anything like that. I just started recently hearing about this stuff like when it, when it came with Diddy. You never really heard about that. I have a few years ago. I started hearing about it. Yeah, as soon as all the Diddy allegations was happening too. No, I, I heard about the Jay-Z thing before. Oh, but okay. I went down that rabbit hole way before the Diddy yeah, stuff. Yeah, the only thing I heard about him is he's uh, Illuminati. Yeah, no. Okay. I didn't hear about like all this extra stuff until the P Diddy stuff. But hey, I, I mean, yeah. what do I know? I mean, if you say you heard it, you heard it. Hey, but my crazy. point is this: is if she's out there, you know, making these claims, it, it, you you, have, you can't have it both ways. Mm -hmm. You can't be innocent on your charges and then sit there and want and, and wish that the charges on him are going to stick. And if they don't stick, or if they do stick, they're either you know what I mean. You can't have it those both ways. Mm -hmm. So you either innocent all the time. And it, they can prosecute an innocent person the way they're doing with you, or you're just guilty. Mm -hmm. You know, it seems like she got her own demon she's battling. Yeah. She got her own issues she she got to deal with. And she do sound bitter. I ain't going to lie. She do sound like a bitter, uh, like a bitter human being. And I'm not saying that there's no, there's no validity in what she's saying. Yeah. I'm just saying it seems like, yeah, th there might be some validity, but at the end of the day, there's also a lot of animosity and, you know what I mean, resentment. And who knows what it's for? Yeah. Who knows what it is? They might have, you know, told her that they were going to give her a, a big break and she never got that big break. Who knows? She she might have, like, not got credits on stuff she, you know, and rightfully so. I mean, if you're upset about that stuff, you're upset about that, you know, but do you think? What do you think about this? It's crazy. Yeah, I think I so. I definitely too. can't wait for them to. I, I can't wait for that interview. Yeah, that's going to be That'll a be great fun. interview. Till mm -hmm. next time, we out.